Hello, this is Maarten Baljau from JetBrains. When profiling applications with dot trace performance, it is key to know about the different navigation features available. This will make investigating performance issues and jumping back and forth between calls easier and less distracting. Let's explore the snapshot I have here. On the overview page, we can see annotated methods if we have them. We can also see methods that have the highest own time conveniently grouped under hotspots. There's a list of subsystems called into and some general information about our snapshot and environment. Making use of hotspots is always a good way to dive into the application's performance snapshot, so let's click the top one here. Dot trace will open a new tab for this method. If we go back and open another method, that method too opens in a fresh tab. We can now just switch tabs if we want to inspect a different method. Want to investigate the same method call in different ways? Well, we can open the current method instance in a new tab by just hitting Ctrl T. In here, we can now switch views and go back and forth between tabs. Want to investigate all calls to this method merged in one? Ctrl Shift T will open this in a new tab. Don't worry about the keyboard shortcuts I just said. We can do the same actions from the menu here. When we know the name of the method we want to expand in a tab, we can use the Find Function feature or Ctrl F to locate it. Let's see if we can find the Add XY function. Ok, now let's return to our initial hotspots. By default, we see the backtrace for a method. In other words, we see the calls inside out. If we want to see the actual call tree, we can use the toolbar on the left to do so. Or we can use the keyboard shortcuts to switch views. We can open the call tree, or jump to the backtrace, or just view the plane lists, or jump to hotspots. Now let's go back to the call tree using Ctrl Alt C. Within a call tree, we can expand and collapse calls using the arrow keys, or Ctrl plus the arrow keys to jump from call to call. We can see all important items, or in other words the path taking most own time, by following the red arrows in the tree view. We can navigate between them using Ctrl Shift and the arrow keys, so let's expand some. Just using the arrow keys navigates through all calls in the tree. Most non-user code calls are filtered by dot trace, but they can be expanded too. We can do this with the mouse or just by using control space. Want to go to the root of the call tree? Control Home will do just that. Another useful navigation feature is the use of bookmarks. We can set them in our snapshot to mark an interesting or suspicious call stack. Let's mark the draw data call stack here as a bookmark. It's the same keyboard shortcut as in Visual Studio. Let's add some more bookmarks. If we now open the bookmarks dialog using Ctrl Shift B, we can navigate between bookmarks using the Enter key. Note that you can also navigate between bookmarks without using this dialog. For more information and examples, check our website and the dot trace library. Thank you for watching. See ya.